Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the fastest way to make money in GTA 5 City Remastered. First of all, we're going to be making our way to this location on the map and then make our way to the roof of the parking lot. There you will find a stallion parked and we will be getting into the stallion to trigger the mini game that is called Cone Crazy. Cone Crazy is a mini game that requires you to get 5 checkpoints within the time limit without crashing into any cones. And obviously this gets progressively more difficult as the time goes on. Now the nice thing about Cone Crazy is that every single time you beat a record you will get even more money. Which goes from increments to 200 to 400 and 800 and 1600, 3200 etc etc. You get my drift. After 11 times you will have earned a total of $400,000 which will be enough to buy every single business within GTA 5 City which is also a requirement for 100% completion. So the best way to go about this method is going to be the following. You start out with Cone Crazy and you hit the first checkpoint which will then start a timer. You want to go very slowly in between these two cones and make sure you don't break any of them and I keep doing that until you make it past the second part. Then you want to have enough speed to carry through this obstacle here and once you hit these two checkpoints then it really is just a matter of going to the final one and then waiting until there's one or two seconds left and then hitting the final checkpoint. Upon doing that you will have beaten the record and you keep kind of rinsing and repeating until you have successfully got your $400,000. It is possible that you may have gone a little bit too quick or a little bit too slow but in order to prevent that you have two options. Either you can decide to have a timer next to you so you know what kind of time you have left or you can also just go with the method that I personally like to use is that if one second left doesn't work then just try to do another run with two seconds left etc etc it shouldn't be too difficult but especially the later runs is where stuff gets a little bit more stressful because the time pickup that you get per checkpoint will only be six seconds rather than the 12 seconds Another very useful tip by the way is that if you do happen to fail Kong Crazy you can then just grab any random stallion and then park it in the exact position that I have parked it in too. That way you can just simply get out of your stallion and get in again so that way you don't have to drive around the block in order for it to spawn. As long as it's parked in roughly the same way as I parked it then it should be totally fine and you can just trigger the minigame. Gotta love 2002 game design where you can just grab a random car off the street and trigger a money making machine. Good times indeed. And one final thing is that it is possible that your stallion will lose the two sides on the front there which will make it a little bit more difficult to get to the obstacle in the corner. Now in order to prevent that you can either decide to have more speed to carry through that obstacle or you can decide to just grab a fresh stallion off the street or just go around the block to have the stallion respawn yet again. Regardless of what you do, it just simply is going to come down to kind of getting the feeling for it, especially when it comes to squeezing through the first two cones. It might take you a few tries, but this is by far the fastest and the best way of making money in GTA 5 City. And the way to think about it, just having to do this only 11 times will set you up for the entire game and you never have to worry about money ever again. But with that said, thank you all so very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more. And if you really like what you see in the channel, consider becoming a member like Chloe, Robert, a loose fire, Captain Price, Shikulu, Madman Dakota, and Dr. Strange Love. Join them and the other members by clicking the join button down below. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you all later.